Hi guys, this is Pestilli and welcome to another Escape from Tarkov video. In this video, I'm covering all the priority keys for each of the maps in the game. Um, there will be a little caveat that for customs, if the expansion includes a heap of new keys, I'll put a short video uh, in addition to this later on when the expansion happens. However, besides that, I'm going to do this once a wipe for every wipe to update you on the latest keys. So guys, without further ado, let's crack straight into it. All right, so starting off with customs, I've kind of broken it down for each different area. Now, the first one you should be paying attention to is the three-story dorms. Uh, for that, there is two rooms that have safes, uh, being 204 and 214. Definitely get these keys. They're all very cheap. And then you have the marked room, which is located on the third floor. Uh, the marked room does change its loot table quite often, but it's always going to be worthwhile just due to the fact of how much value you can get out of that room for the key. Moving across to the two-story dorms, there is a lot of rooms in this building that are actually gold. Room 104 has two jackets and a toolbox in it. Across from that, you have room 105. Now, in this room, there is a safe and also a barter trade spawn on the floor. Heading down to the room 110, this one has a safe in it and on the bed can spawn the diary, a flash drive or fuel conditioner. In room 114, this is also a quest key. There is a safe, a computer that can have a flash drive sticking out of the front and also a med box. A lot of people do like the GDS key, which is out the uh, the front little area of it. There is some weapon crates there and ammo crates that you can get money from. Other keys that are definitely of interest for this map, the factory key, if you're not very good at jumping over the wall, factory key can get you through the shortcut, which can head you over to the old gas station. The customs office key, this is required for two different tasks, so it's definitely important for those ones. But on top of that, uh, there is a safe in there, three computers, and uh, some some jackets, at least one jacket you can get in there. Both the storage key and the gas station key are definitely keys that are worthwhile to check out. One of them gets you into the office in the gas station. That key will uh, have a safe in there. And there's also a key spawn that's located under the desk there that can spawn some random keys. And then the storage room has two med boxes in there for loot. The other key that's notable, but I really think it's absolutely trash, is the checkpoint key. Every time you go in there, it's either going to be not very good loot. You might get some ammo, you might get a gun, but ultimately it ends up getting you killed because you get put in one of the most dangerous areas of the map. And every time I go in there, I seem to get into a fight. Now moving over to interchange. Now some of these keys are a bit wishy-washy if they're worth getting or not, but I've put them there just so at least we can talk about them. Now the pharmacy key is a little hidden gem. If you're short on meds or you don't have a lot of money at the time, pharmacy key can get picked up quite cheap and you can go into the med room, which is located out the front of IDEA at the bottom of the escalator, just right next to it. The IDEA cash register key can make you some money, but it's not like an absolute gold mine worth of money, but it's definitely worth checking out if you want to make money that way. Heading over to Goshen, I didn't have the actual Goshen key here because it's just generally quite expensive, but Goshen has about 35 cash registers you can loot and you can make the money back from it if you want to loot cash that way. But generally the uh, cash registers don't seem to give you enough money to make this worthwhile. For the Oli side of things, you do have the Oli cash register key, which is there if you want to make some money. You do get these from a quest later on with Jaeger. The logistics office keys you required for a quest has a computer in there and also barter trade spawns as well as the Oli utility key has a computer in there and also barter trade spawns in there if you want to check those out. Now the power station utility key should actually be over on the right here. I actually don't think it's worthwhile, but there is some barter trades in there and a weapon crate if you want to go over there. The med station, the ultra medical key, this key is an absolute gold mine. It makes you so much money and everyone always heads up there as soon as that alarm is on. You can get the lead X's in there, defibrillators, ophthalmoscopes, and then heaps of meds. With the Kiba stores, there are the two Kiba keys required. One you'll get from Gunsmith Part 11. The other one will just be from either finding it in Raid, which is located either in Goshen or in the power station. Otherwise, you can do the barter trade or uh, you might be able to get it from a jacket or a scav backpack. Otherwise, you can get it on the flea market. I'm sure there'll be plenty out there. Once you're inside the Kiba room, um, the alarm will go off unless you turn off the alarm console, which is located on the bottom floor next to Goshen. However, uh, the Kiba key has had a significant buff of recent. I see a lot of night vision goggles in there, plenty of sights, plenty of suppressors, and you can definitely get fully modded guns on the wall. There's also a Gen 4 high mobility armor that spawns in there and some grenades too. You can easily make solid cash in here and it's not looted as often. And lastly, the mess key. Um, this one has heaps of uh, med, med spawns in there. It's got a jacket in there as well as it's required for a quest. As for the key cards, the two key cards, hashtag 11SR is the one that is the extract key. This one I think is very valuable. Even in a million rubles, um, if you count that as 15 ways you can get out of a raid very safely, personally, I think it's worthwhile. That way you don't have to run that risk of extract campers. However, the hashtag 21WS key, don't even waste your money on it. It's not worth it. 
Moving over to labs now, I don't have all the labs key cards because I really haven't put any time and effort into labs this wipe. But for labs, there's pretty much five to six cards that you really should focus on getting if you do run labs a lot. I'll start off with the ones I do have. The green room is an absolute gold mine for making money. Heaps of meds. You've got an intel spawn in there, defibrillators, and also a ledex spawn in there. The management office key, easy money maker. If you can get in there and out without dying, um, it's probably the, the most easy, quick loot money room in the actual game, in my opinion. You get in there, there's always some sort of loot. Lions, bitcoins, rollers, everything that spawns in there is, is of high value and makes good money. And the uh, weapon key, testing area key, um, you go in there, you can get fully modded M4 or other uh, types of mods. Generally, a lot of sights and suppressors, and it's easy money for how expensive the key is. The other keys that I'm missing are the blue key. This one has now got a lead spawn in there, which has definitely increased its value, but it's very expensive. I think it was sitting around 8 million last time I checked. It's just not worth it when the amount of times I run labs. I don't think it's worthwhile, but if you do go labs a lot, you can make your money back eventually in there. The black key card is actually a very good money maker as well. Generally, I, I did 100 black key card runes and i think i averaged out about six or seven stims per run so it might be a little bit lower than that now maybe around the five mark but even at five if you could sell these stims for between 20 and 30k each you're making about 100 to 150k per run just from that one room and it only takes up five squares so pretty good money for that room is by itself and if you can get lucky with sj6 you're going to make heaps of money in there now the red key card room plus storage key if you want to spend 35 million trying to get it on the flea market go for it you will make your money back eventually if you do a lot of lab runs and if you go in there and with just these keys and loot the RV key card room, you'll always at least make your money back of the key card for entering labs. But it's more of one of those things of show of wealth. I don't personally think it's worth getting unless you do a lot of lab runs or you just got excess money. As for the Volt key card or the OI key card, not worth your time in my opinion. Don't waste your money on it. If you do find one, I'd rather sell it in the flea market with the Violet. The yellow doesn't cost much and you can just have it for the sake of it. The, the buff that yellow gives you is when you go into the actual room, you can disable the alarm. So when you press the parking gate, you you won't have the voice announcer saying that the door's opening, but the door still opens, makes a shitload of noise with the siren and the raider still spawn. So it doesn't really make much of a difference at all. Inside that room, you can get a couple of like weapon mods and there is a filing cabinet. So it's up to you with that one. Heading over to Woods, there are two keys of major interest for Woods. Um, the ZB014 key opens up an extract and it's definitely worthwhile if you're doing, doing wood runs. I would highly suggest taking this key. Um, the KSH, which is the Sturman key, um, this key, I did a hundred runs of Sturm and Stash and it did come out profitable. I think it was on average either four or five uh, Red Rebels I found over the hundred runs. So it was about one in 20 to one in 25 chance to get a Red Rebel from the Sturm and Stash. Um, that may have changed a little bit over time, but it should probably be very similar to that. And uh, obviously killing Sturm in itself can get you the money or, or get you a Red Rebel as well. So it really comes down to how much you like Woods and um, I would always suggest opening this stash up if you have full anticipation to surviving the raid. Um, so if you're just like sprinting to it to try and grab a Red Rebel and die, probably not going to work, uh, be worthwhile in the long run. But if you take one of these keys in with you, um, you kill most of the, the players in the map and you're like, hey, I'm going to head to the extract. I'll quickly loot it on the way out. Then it's probably more worthwhile that way. Over the side, I have the factory key. Now with the factory key, if you go factory a lot, um, you definitely should be grabbing a factory key. They're super cheap at the moment. They're very easy to find in jackets and opens up two more extracts on factory. And I would put this inside a sick case. So then every time you kill players in there, you're grabbing their dog tags and chucking them in the in with the sick case. Now for this monstrous amount of keys for reserve. So there are currently a heap of keys for reserve and I'm gonna try my best to explain them all and what's in them and the value of each one of them. So starting off with RBVO and AO, these are right next to each other, marked room. The marked rooms on reserve have been hit and miss uh, of late and generally you've been going in there and not finding a lot, but the value of the key, then usually under 100,000 rubles, definitely worth picking up and I would highly suggest grabbing one if you're going into reserve. And the AO room is located right next to it, can have RB, sorry not RB, can have AKS 74Us or AK 74Ns, um, generally with BP ammo. So anytime you see those AKS 74Us, take the mag off, strip the ammo, put the ammo in your container. If you survive the raid, you'll make a lot of money selling ammunition on the flea market at the moment. So. Definitely suggest um, picking up both these keys for reserve. Now heading over to the white and black knights. For these ones, you've got lots of keys that have been added recently. Although actually the keys have been around a while, but they actually locked the doors now. So MP11, 12, 13, 21, 22. So 11 has an Intel spawn in there and so does 12. 
13 has a tank battery spawn, 21 has an intel spawn, and 22 has a tank battery spawn. So those are reasons alone, even if you pick up one of those items once, you'll generally pay for the key, if not more, um, besides maybe one of the keys are more expensive. There are other weapon mods and jackets inside these rooms as well. So quite quickly, you'll be able to get the value back on these keys. Right next to it, I have RBST. With this key, uh, it's located very close to the, uh, to the night buildings and um, you can get tank battery spawns, the uh, OFZ spawns, and there's just a heap of weapon crates and grenade crates there to make your money back on this key. Generally early wipe, it is quite expensive. Moving up to the dome, so the call KORL key has a Intel, or oh, technically has two Intel spawns there right next to each other. The RBRS key, this one has a heap of tech spawns, relays, toolbox in there, and a lot of random little like spark plugs will be spawning in there. Not a high priority key, but definitely something you could pick up. RLSA, this is a new key just been recently added and I'm gonna be making a new uh, video talking about this key and also the PKM, uh, PKPM key, and that will go in a lot more detail. But this room, even though it might be quite expensive around the million ruble mark, it's actually very good value. Coftums and the MGT spawns in there on the shelves just on the left as you enter. And I think within probably about 10 to 15 runs, you'll probably have your money back. Generally, you go in there, there's nothing in there, or there's like two or three items on those shelves, and you actually make a fair bit of money. I have also found one Intel spawn in there as well. Out the front of the dome is the KPRL room. Um, there's two safes located in there, and it's definitely worth picking up this key because the building right next to it also has a safe in it. So putting those three safes together can easily make you quite good money. Heading down to the uh, white and black pawn buildings, you have the orb one, two, and three keys. These rooms have uh, the AKS-74Us that I was talking about earlier. You can strip the ammo out for BP ammo, as well as boxes and boxes of BS and BT ammo. You'll be able to make heaps of money from these rooms, and they're generally unlooted. Next to that, you have the RBOB key, which I highly suggest you don't buy. It's not really worth it. I've probably done 50 to 100 runs of this room and not found a single Intel. I have seen videos of Intel and gold chain spawning in there. I've found a couple of gold chains, but never found the Intel. So not really worth your time or uh, the money in buying this key. Uh, heading down into the basement though, you will be able to find the RBBK room, which is the other marked room. Definitely worth picking up this key because it's another marked room. Small chance of getting something good at the moment, but um, you can uh, definitely get something good sometimes. Next door to that is the RBTB room. This one has AKS-74Us that spawn in there, but it also has a fully pimped out like AK-74N, which is actually really good if you can find it. It's probably worth about 150K just in mods and and the gun itself. So easy value there, and you're already generally down there because of the marked room. Now heading across to White and Black Bishop, for this one, you have the RBAM room, which is on the ground floor. For this one, you can get fire steels, coftums, uh, there's a jacket and toolboxes, and just other random items in there that can be of quite a good value. Right above it, you have the RBAK room. I definitely suggest you do not buy that key, and you head straight to the third floor, jump out the window, onto the balcony and you can go in there for free so you don't have to waste your money in there. Across you have the health building or the medical building and in there you'll have the RB, SMP and KSM keys. If you can pick these up cheap, they're not too bad. There was rumor that a Ledex spawned in SMP. Um, I reckon it was a doct doctrinated, a, a doctored video um, because I ha honestly, I've never seen a second video proving that there was one spawning in there. Someone's gonna try and prove me wrong now but there's so many people I know that have farmed this room hundreds of times to try and find a Ledex and haven't. But uh, you can get knuckles and plenty of other meds that will make you plenty of money in that building. Next up, we have the RB PS81 and 82, and also the RB PSP1 and PSP2. These four keys are located in the bunker uh, next to the hermetic door, or underneath the hermetic door. And uh, these four cages have these like big boxes uh, where they'll have either rations, tech items, or medical items in there. For questing, these are absolutely amazing. Uh, if you're after the cigarettes, you can get them. If you're after med items, you can get them. And barter trade items for either upgrading your hideout for quests, uh, you can get them. Highly suggest picking up all four of these keys. One of them is usually really expensive, and the other three are generally really cheap. So get the three really cheap ones for now, and then uh, later on when you've got a bit more money, you can uh, go for that. But it's honestly a pretty good run just to run down there at the start of a raid, start looting all those items, and then if someone presses the hermetic door button when you're looting all that stuff, you generally can just jump jump out of the raid and start again. And just for the amount of money and loot you get, it's just great. I honestly highly suggest these keys. It's probably one of the best keys for this map. Last building I've got is the King Building, which has got RBOP room in there, which is, has in the basement, which has two Intel spawns. And then the RBGN, which is right next to it, has uh, two toolboxes and can spawn tank batteries, the big filters. 
um, which are the ones that give you increased physical skills and also fire steels that spawn in the basement. Heading up to the top floor, there is the uh, RBR H room that overlooks the server room. You can get BT ammo in there, but I don't think it's really a key that you should be wasting your money on. The last key for this map is the RB PKPM key. Now, personally, I don't think this is worthwhile at all, even in the slightest. Don't even waste your money. Please don't just delete this key. It's freaking trash. Um, you're going to see this in the video, but I ran it 25 times, and I think I found one gold chain, and I found one other item, a teapot in 25 runs. Not worth it at all. Uh, I've, I spent over like one and a half million on this key. Right now, it's absolutely trash. I think there might be something later on coming on into this room because of all the seven monitors in there and that. But honestly, it's just an absolutely trash uh, key. Don't waste your time. Okay, so down to Shoreline, the last map that I'm going to be talking about with these keys. So I'm going to start with outside the resort and then we'll move in. So starting on the outside, there is the cottage key. So there's cottage and the cottage safe key. I highly suggest getting these two keys um, because two saves will make you money very quickly. And um, if you're already over in the cottages area, there's the other room that has the two safes in it too, the other building. So add those four together and you're, it's like an easy money making on the way to the resort if you're not going to rush straight to the resort. The two keys I have next to it are both safe keys. I'll have them pop up on the screen with the name. These two keys are great value when it comes to um, getting more money from the actual admin building within the resort. So these two keys here, um, you'll be able to make pretty straightforward money and you're already in the admin, admin building trying to get the barter items and graphics cards and stuff out of their Tetrises. So it's worthwhile there. The HEPS key, I highly suggest don't waste any money on it if you're going to buy it, but you get it actually for a quest reward later on anyway. It's a key to the power station in the middle of the map. Um, there's three weapon crates in there. Um, just get the key from the quest. Don't rush to get it. Um, it does make you money, but it's not really one of the ones that I'd be like, holy crap, you need to get straight away. Moving to the bottom floor of the West Wing. For this one, you've got the 104 key and the 112 key. The 104 key does have a lead spawn in there and some other meds inside there. So that's definitely worth picking up. The 112 key, most people will need to get for the quest or you'll need to get it for the quest. And there is a blue key card spawn in there. There's actually a blue key card spawn in 104 as well, actually. Heading up to the second floor, you've got the West 203 and 205 key. Inside this room, there is a red key card spawn now, which is a new spawn that's been discovered, as well as Ledex spawn as well. And then there's also meds and other items you can find in there. The West 216 key is required for a quest and has uh, a heap of weapon crates, meds, and also you'll find um, some good food in that in there. Now, you do have the option of getting the 219 key. Um, I personally wouldn't suggest it. You can use it to get a quest instead of the 220 key, but the 220 key is going to get you more value for money. And the 219 has a weapon crate in there and a weapon cabinet. And besides that, there's not really much else of value in there. When it comes to West 220, this one has what I call gold spawns. The gold spawns are like stuff like rollers, bitcoins, lines, and all that. It's not as common as it used to be, but they still do spawn in there. And there are plenty of other items you can get from the inside this room, being meds and also weapon boxes. Linked together, you have the 218, 221, and the 222 key. All three of these open up the same doors, so you can just get one of the three. And um, inside here, there is a red key card spawn. There is heaps of weapon spawns. Um, there is meds, weapon boxes, two weapon cabinets. It's great money. Just grab the key. You won't be complaining about it. Heading up to the third floor, you have a few keys that can work here. The West 301 key. This one has a lead X spawn, uh, also a gun that spawns on the bed and a heap of meds and two computers. West 306, required for a quest, uh, does have two dead scav bodies in there you can loot. There's an M4 spawn on the bed and it, you'll generally need the key anyway for the quest. And it's just worth hanging on to, in my opinion, if you're already up in that area. There is the safe in the uh, West Wing 321 room. Uh, if you're heading down that way, it's worth picking up, but you have to go down the, the far end staircase to get to it. If you are on that staircase, there is a storeroom utility key that can open two doors on the very end of the West Wing and get you barter trade items. And there is jackets in one or two of them. So um, that can actually make you money as well. And I'm going to be talking about that utility key over on the East Wing very shortly. Heading over to the East Wing, we've got the East 107 key. Now this key has a lead X spawn inside there. So definitely worth picking up for that reason alone. Uh, as well as med boxes and just med spawns and some barter trade spawns. Going up to the second floor, you have the East 206 or 205 key. These ones both go to a gold room. Uh, there's a box with a gold spawn, um, and there's also med boxes in there. There's also uh, weapon crates, and it's just good money to make inside that room. 
Next down the far other end of the actual east wing, you've got the east triple two or two two six key. Uh, both of these get you into the same room. And with these ones, um, there is Ledex spawns quite consistently. Uh, graphics cards spawn on one of the tables and also Tetrises. There's a gold spawn in there. This is one of the rooms that people run straight to uh, when they get to the resort because this is where they can make a heap of money. Heading up to the third floor, uh, East 306 or 308, open up the same room. Uh, required for a quest, actually two quests. And also there's four computers. There's uh, med spawns, there's a DVL spawn. Really good key, um, but just purely for the fact you need it for a quest or for two, and it also makes you really good money, and you can get your flash drives sticking out the computers when you need that for the quest. E310 used to be like the golden room of all the resort, and it's just been nerfed really hard. It doesn't seem to have the same value as it used to, um, but it's still worth checking out, and you can pick it up pretty cheap. So E310, there's the two tables in there, two duffel bags, worth picking up. You'll be able to make some money in there. Now, E313 and 314 are both connected. Uh, you can get either of these keys and in one of them has the Ledex spawn. So definitely worth checking up, uh, checking out that one uh, as well as its hip of barter trades and weapon parts. So you can pick that up, one up pretty cheap. And then you have the East 316, which has a med box out on the uh, balcony, a few weapon crates that you can open up and a hip of weapon attachments. So uh, this one's generally really cheap, makes you easy money as well. Now down to the uh, the very end, you have the East 328 key. You do not need this key if you have the actual storeroom or health resort utility key. Um, personally, I would highly suggest just picking up this key because it opens up this, uh, the end room, which saves you from buying a 328 key and also opens up those key rooms on the west wing, saving you money on, uh, or more bang for buck, really. Uh, in this room, you can also find uh, lead X's and also uh, really good just random items. I think there used to be a Reaper spawn in there. I don't know if it's been nerfed, but um it is what it is um there's still plenty of really good value you can get in this room and also a tetris you can pick up all right guys well that is it for this guide there was a lot to talk about so um hopefully you guys learn a lot uh, there are a lot of really good keys in the game at the moment which will make you really good money and really good return on investment if you're going to buy these keys as well as some of them are good for quests and whatnot hopefully i've avoided you uh wasting money on keys that aren't worth you know wasting your time on and uh hopefully you'll be able to make some more money from just knowing which keys are worthwhile picking up so if you like this video make sure you smash the shit out of the uh the like button for the youtube algorithm it really does help out with promoting the videos uh if you like anyone's youtube videos on any channel you should definitely be doing that make sure you subscribe for future, future content hit the notification bell the raid series episodes are coming out monday to friday and i've got plenty of good guides hopefully hopefully they're good uh for you guys to check out uh, I do share my twitch every day of the week so go down the link below give me a follow over there you're going to tackle a question you can always hit me up in the comments or on my live stream and lastly, guys, I'll see you next time.